So not having a dream to having a dream was a huge step. Okay, that also involved creating a spreadsheet, that's how I did it, and working from what I wanted to achieve, what I'm going to achieve because it's my dream, right the way back. Okay, that involved masses of lists and thinking and things like that. But most people do it in a lot less time than I do. But however, it's there. Now, not only do you <coughs> make your dream list, you also create a list you're going to follow. It's as simple as that. And you update, evaluate and keep going with that list. You might have to alter arrangements on dates and times, but not the focus in it. And this time I'm going to actually speak about having an afternoon tea party. So if it's your birthday, you can't really alter that date. You know it's going to happen. Right. So that's your deadline. Everything has to be done by then. And since it's, oh, I'll use the example of 36 months and one day. I'll tell you why the one day. That's later. So you've got all these things you need to do by that date. Now you have to actually set about organising them. So if it's a birthday for yourself, you know what you want. But if it's a birthday, like a 21st or something, and you might turn around to your relatives and say, you do this and you're good at making the cake and you're good at multitask. Let them do it. Let them do the multitask job. They have the ownership. That's in the transitional change on community development. They own the, the ideas and the energy that's going into the cake. The birthday person might want pink cake, black cake, blue cake, this tier, that size, whatever. But the actual outcome belongs to the group or the person who's making it. Give them the credit. So now you've delegated part of the responsibilities. You're having people phone you up, email you, take photos. This type of thing, you're keeping in the loop, you're keeping informed, you're informing other people. Okay. Use your downtime. Now, what is downtime? Use your sleep time for rest. When you wake up, have a pen and paper nearby because you'll come up with brilliant ideas. You might want to go swimming, you might want to be with the family. These type of things, they are downtime. They are out of the actual area, your creative area. It might be driving and you've got a microphone connected to you. Oh, I've got a brilliant idea. Rather than pull over, turn on the switch. Talk to it. Come back. You've got your ideas there. You don't have to keep thinking, now what was it I was thinking at 10 past whatever? And then it went to this, this. So you're using your downtime. Next step. Okay. When you've got home, when you've got to where it is that you're going, reward yourself. Give yourself a pat, a clap. Do a dance, do a tap dance, whatever. Turn on the music. Totally enjoy yourself. Write it all down. You've got all those things. Those are seven things. As I said, watch the rest of the videos. At the end, there will be a seven-day boot camp. See? It's complimentary. Reward yourself. Go through the process. Have a look at what I went through. It's really, really, really fun, actually, and it's a reward. You enjoy yourself. I'll see you later. Catch you around. This is Susan from SusanLewisMarketing.com. Bye.